Hello YouTube. Alright, today we're going to look at something pretty cool. A Windows Blue uh, build. I don't know if you would call it a beta or not, but it got leaked out recently. So we're going to take a look at it. I managed to get a hold of it and put it on a DVD. So we're going to put it in this computer and try it out. This is the hardware I'm using. It is my... Uh, Tricore AMD build on the on that ASRock board uh, has a Tricore Athlon 2x3 CPU in it. Has about six gigs of RAM, but the build of Windows Blue on that disk is 32 bit, so that's not exactly an issue. And then I have this, uh, or it's not exactly useful, but and then I have this uh, NVIDIA GeForce 210, so that there's graphics. And I pulled the uh, this Seagate drive out of my LAN party computer over there, which had the motherboard failure, as you saw in the previous video. Uh, so, we're going to install it on there via DVD. So, let's get started, shall we? This door doesn't want to stay open. <laughs> so, let's turn it on. Let's do this. Let's boot from the DVD. That's F11 on this board. Okay. Focus. Let's boot and see what it does. Okay. Yep, they still haven't replaced the logo. So it looks like not a whole lot's changed. I think this is early days as far as uh, builds go. From what I understand, it's basically Windows 8 with uh, Internet Explorer 11 beta on it. So, <laughs> yeah. It also has... Um, a new kernel, kernel two or kernel six point three. So that's the main reason why Windows Blue is a separate release and not a service pack because it upgrades the kernel. So instead of boring you guys to death, I'll let this read in and then come back. It even uses the same installer screen, so let's go through the motions here. and see what it does. Except, curiously, no, oh. there we go. Windows pre-release. There you go. So there's the first sign. Installer looks kind of nice. All right, let's delete all this. Delete all the Linux crap off of here. And format the disk. All right, install that stuff. All right, so same process as that's been around since Windows Vista, so I'll wait for it to finish. Okay, I've reached the setup menu, which looks quite similar to Windows 8, but it's not. And I named the PC uh, Test Tube PC. <laughs> I'll just leave the color default because it's a test. Who cares what the color is? Use Express Settings. Sign into your PC. Hi. 
Oh, yeah, it is the same as Windows 8, pretty much. All the same slideshows, all the same stuff. So, it, clearly this is early days, I think. Even though this pat, even though this Windows Blue is supposed to come out this summer, it's probably not going to be that drastic of a change from Windows 8, just adding a few things here or there. So, who knows what this is going to be like. Yeah, nothing's really changed all that much, it looks like, as far as how to use it goes. Okay, we're at the start screen for Windows Blue Beta. Let's see what build this is. Okay, wow. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, whoever leaked this out, you might want to watch out, because you'll probably get fired, according to this. So, it says it's Windows 8 Pro, but clearly it's early days. It's build 9364. So, I'm guessing this is probably a development build of some sort. Now, IE10, or IE11, actually, is supposed to be in here. No, I'm not connected to the internet, but I don't have to be. Internet Explorer 11. So maybe IE 11 is on its way pretty soon. Probably this summer, if that's when this comes out. Let's see if Charms has changed. Charms is still exactly the same for the most part. Oh, it's, it looks a little bit better, but that's really it. Any changes in here? Nope. Not really. Switch to Windows 8 version. <laughs> Apps. Yeah, it looks like there's a little bit more customizability, but that's really it. I mean, they haven't changed a whole lot as far as these apps go. It looks like some of the uh, built-in apps have changed a little bit. I guess this is IE uh, uh, 11 on that. I wonder if this update applies to Windows RT as well. You get sound recorder, calculate, alarms. So it looks like it actually offers some features more than Windows 8 does. Movie moments. I don't know what those are. Calculate. Looks like you get a built-in calculator actually. Scientific. Converter. Hey, look at that. So you get a calculator now. A built-in calculator. What about sound recorder? Can sound recorder use your microphone? What a stupid question. So you get so you get a sound recorder. That's pretty cool. So little features here and there, I think, is going to be the theme of Windows Blue when it comes out. I guess we can take a look at uh, alarms as well. I assume this is just like a... Let alarms run in the background, whatever. So it has an alarm, a timer, and a stopwatch. Typical stuff that you would find on a tablet. So, with all these tablet centric features, I would hope that this would end up on uh, the Windows RT Surface. The Surface RT, rather. What are movie moments? <laughs> Microsoft Confidential. Don't share movies created by this app. So, I guess you choose a movie and it, uh, Make some movie out of it. <sighs> Strange. I don't have any files on this machine, but you know, maybe in later builds it'll be worth looking at. Just kind of a little bit of an update. One thing I hope is that the this update applies to Windows RT as well, since Windows RT is basically Windows 8 compiled for the ARM architecture. Hopefully it applies to that as well. But uh looks like as far as it on the desktop goes it's basically Windows 8 it just has a few features thrown in here or there uh, has anything changed in the file manager? Eh, not really yeah it, it really I think it's subtle changes and subtle improvements that are the uh, theme here so you know there you have it
Well, there you have it, you guys. Not a whole lot different than uh, Windows 8 is already. So, that was just a brief look at the Windows Blue Beta. It's really not much of anything yet. It just has a few extra apps that uh, looks like they'll be included, which really should have been there in the first place. Uh, the addition of alarms and the calculator and stuff. I hope this. I hope this. Uh, these features come to Windows RT in the form of uh, an upgrade of some sort uh, with my Surface. So. That's the one thing I'm concerned about. On the desktop, I think it'll make it nicer, especially for tablet computers. But as far as it on the Surface RT, hopefully those updates come to there as well because the 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 ability to customize more I like. So can't wait to see what happens. But that was just a brief look at the uh, Windows Blue Beta, uh, and hope you enjoyed it. It looks like uh, so. It looks like. Um, Subtle improvements are uh, the theme of the of uh, Windows Blue, so that's a good thing, I think. So I suspect we'll see a final build somewhere in the summertime. So there you have it, guys. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.